Okay guys, here we have uh, the uh, gate opener. We're going to be talking about the uh, uh, magnetic limit switch and how it works. Um, a lot of people get stuck on this uh, where they think the gate opener has a, an issue, um, some type of problem and it doesn't work correctly. Um, so we'll try to touch uh, as much as we can on, on, on the subject. Um, Alright, so we got the uh, limit switch is back here. Um, it's got three wires in the back that connect in the front here on the control board. Um, um, it's got a red wire, a white wire, and a blue wire. Uh, the red wire is parallel with the red light. Um, uh, the white has nothing, and then the blue is uh, wires connected uh, on the terminal, parallel with the green uh, light or uh, LED. Um, it, the gate opener also comes, uh, just uh, so you know, right now it's wired in, but they also come with a plug. Um, just kind of verify and make sure that the red is parallel with the the red wire is parallel with the red LED. Uh, and the green is with the blue uh, uh, with the blue wire. All right. Um, so basically, it's turned on right now. Um, if you um, if you kind of go uh, past the magnet um, underneath on the bottom part of that limit switch sensor, uh, the little LED red light would turn on. If you pass it on the top the little green light as you see here um, it's uh, turning on so basically the idea is to attach the magnet that you see here um, on the gate and you want to probably get it about an inch or <coughs> three quarters of an inch um, uh, on the limit switch now remember you get you're gonna have the cover on so um, you're gonna kinda have to measure it more or less so you can have an idea um, the the main thing is um, so, so so it's installed correctly as far as the magnet is concerned is you want to make sure that the, if you're trying to achieve the bottom limit which is your in this case your close limit um, you want to make sure that the magnet is sitting really close to the bottom of that limit switch sensor um, a lot of people get stuck on here and the reason for that is because um, they tend to put it closer to the middle portion and what happens is it grabs both um, the red and uh, I was trying to achieve that, there you go, the red and the, and the, and the green. Um, what happens is when that happens the, the gate opener thinks it's both um, uh, open and closed and it, in this case what, what's going to happen is when the gate comes to the, say for example if, if the gate is opening and it comes to the open position um, when you try to hit the button again on the on the gate, it's not going to do anything. It's going to kind of, you know, it's going to stay still and it's not going to move anything. Uh, you hear a clicking noise, uh, probably like you see now, uh, coming out of the receiver, but no action coming out of the gate opener. And that uh, that is because um, both the red light and the green light uh, has been turned on. Um, now, not necessarily mean that if you um, if you only have the red light or you visibly see it means that the magnet is in the right place you got to make sure that it just kind of sits at the bottom or the top of your limit switch center try to stay away from the middle the middle uh, is going to eventually uh, catch both sides both sides of the, uh, your limit switch center and therefore not work correctly um, the other thing is you want to make sure is um, your gate opener uh, direction is in the correct spot so like if you're trying to achieve um, opening um, the gate and you want to make sure that it's the, the, the gate opener um, it's basically working like it should is you, you're gonna hit the button the button on the remote control as you see there and if you notice here a little open light turned on um, Basically, you want to make sure that the gate is opening. While the gate is moving, when that little LED turns on, okay, it could be either be the, re the, the red one or the green one. So you got the green one for open, the red one for close. So depending what you're doing, if you're trying to close, you want to make sure the red light is on. If you're trying to open, make sure the open light is on. Um, that, it's going to make a difference um, down the road if you add accessories like a... Uh, 
a photo beam, a photo safety beam, or an a exit one. Um, that, that's got to be in the correct spot. Um, also, if you have it backwards and you want to change that, you can always change it on dip switch number five. That changes the direction of your gate opener uh, as, as far as uh, what direction it's going. So if, it, if it's you got the wrong direction on the gate opener, just change dip switch number five, uh, like so, um, and that would change the direction on the gate opener. Um, I hope this uh, helped you on the on the topic of your limit switch sensor. Um, if you have any problems, uh, feel free to call us. Our tech support uh, to 352-241-8259 or visit our website uh, www.openers4less.com uh, that's openers with an s number four less l e s s dot com um, and you can always uh, shoot an email as well at gatemotor at yahoo.com that's gatemotor at yahoo.com thank you you guys have a nice day